Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. As you can see, Ninja is bugging me. Well, he was, until I turned the camera on. Want some tummy rubs. He, like, just purrs and rolls around and tries to scratch the back of my chair to get my attention. Hello? Uh, That makes him crazy. <laughs> crazy kitty. Your son is over here. Louie's over there. Ninja wants more attention. Did you see that movie, How to Train Your Dragon? That's what he looks like. Well, it's 8.25 in the morning. Carl was supposed to come here first thing, and we were going to work on his YouTube videos for his fishing channel. And uh, But he had a busy weekend, so he's capturing footage this morning at his house. So he's going to come tomorrow morning, So, which is fine. Uh, that gives me time to get some of my things organized. I'm going to have to go out and shoot a food video, put that up for this afternoon or tonight. And uh, so right now I'm just going to put together an uncut raw and um, throw that up today. Well, not throw it up, but throw it up. Sam, get that kitty. Get the kitty. Get it. Get, get him, Sam. Aww. Go get him. Go get him. No, back up. Back up. You get that kitty. He's getting you. It's 9.45. I finished the vlog, uploaded it. I did a uh, uncut and raw finished it's uploading now uh, I'm just starting to do the cook and review and also get that done uh, if I can get that done today then I don't have to edit that tomorrow uh, and then I'm gonna go up to Barry to uh, KFC and do uh, something delicious the spicy delicious it's called it is quarter after 12 I'm heading up to Barry to a KFC and then I have to go down to Paul's house uh, for five o'clock to shoot a new cook and review for next Wednesday. Don't know what we're doing yet. We'll find out when I get there. And uh, anyway, let's go. Just up here is uh, one of the blades for our wind turbine. Unbelievable how big that thing is. How do they make that? That is crazy. Nice. I guess we're getting a new wind turbine around here somewhere. it up to Barry. I'm at the Taco Bell KFC location and uh, it's getting my tray out. I left my put my camera gear in the back and the drone. We'll get some drone footage of this location as well. Hope you like in the drone footage and the food reviews. It's replacing the uh, usually I used to use my camera and my my iPhone and shoot a shot. And that was my cutaway shot to show the off the location. All right. This is gonna be a, hopefully a very fast setup. For you guys. Let's do it as quickly as we can. Let's see how fast we can set this up. Excuse my spitting, but it helps. It helps make things stick. Get out the crown oil, jam that in your face. Oh, I thought I forgot one of my uh, holders. Put that there. Of course, I turned that on when I put it on the windshield. Part of my routine. My routine. That should be good. I have to keep my eye on this one because it moves. So as I'm shooting, I will make sure it is pointing at me like it's supposed to. Put my phone down there. It's a delicious, spicy, delicious. There aren't any posters up here, unfortunately. I'm going to put this one right over here. It's right in your way, isn't it? How rude. I'll put that there then. So that one's going there. I don't think I've ever timed this. But I've been shooting for two minutes on that. Doesn't seem to take that long. I keep this one on wide and then I trim it. 
later. And last but not least, can't, uh, light number one. Light number two. And the last, the last video I did, I don't know why the camera, the, everything was a little bit dark and weird. So that's all I need. There we go. All right. Turn everything on. Uh, I'm gonna do by the uh, on cotton raw now, so. See ya. Okay guys, just finished up everything. It took me three tries, I think, to get the uh, thingy in the bag. <gasps> just shut off all my lights, my camera. I'm gonna shut this one off now. You guys can watch that. All right guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later, bye. So there we go, that's done. I'm gonna put my cameras away, throw them in the bag, clean up as we go. These lights are usually crazy hot, so I try to be careful. Try not to touch that end. They're not hot enough that they do damage to the camera bag. Uh, this one can come out, this can go there. I can put my camera back up there, my phone. Gotta do my drone shots, gotta shut this off. Done. It is like stupid hot in here. Like just dumb. Dumb hot. Carol's actually waiting for me, so I gotta go pick up some stuff from her. Cause I'm going back home. She's staying up in Barry a little bit longer. Woo! That was just an awful shoot. Trucks backing up, people stopping right beside me. I thought, figured this would be a really good spot, but it wasn't. Good thing I didn't park over there because the truck came, dumped a huge load of soil. So I'm gonna go grab my stuff from Carol, get my drone shots done, let her go, and uh, yeah, we'll see you back at the house. Okay, finished up with all the drone shots. Got about maybe eight shots, and uh, I'm practicing. It's really hard. There's a really cool shot where you, uh, let me just straighten that up, there we go. Okay, there's a very cool shot, it's basically a crane shot, where as the crane goes up, you have to angle the camera down at the same time, and it's hard when both of those controls are on the same side of the drone, so as you're pushing up the, the stick, you have to, there's a little wheel at the front where you have to like pull it just a little bit, so as it goes up, the camera tilts down at the same time. So I'll probably use that shot, it actually turned out not bad, but it took me a few tries. It is 25 after four, as you can see, Ben is driving himself Hello. to Bradford, and then I have to go down to Paul's house. How was your day so far? You slept in till like 12. Yeah. Like, was, was it even later than that? Uh, 12. <laughs> after I woke you up, that's pretty much it, you got up. Because yeah. I woke him up just before uh, I left with Megan to go up to Bra uh, Barry to shoot my video, drop her off at a friend's house. And uh, so I woke him up to make sure he didn't wake up with nobody in the house and not knowing anything. That's so, happened before. Yeah. It was kind of scary. It's spooky. It's spooky. 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 Paul's house. Yep, yes. We'll yep. find out in a second what he's cooking. Well, it turns out Paul was like lazy doing nothing all day today and uh, didn't get any food. <laughs> so, what are, what are we, uh, just kidding. Paul was very busy and that's why he didn't get the food. So, we have noodles. <laughs> We have noodles, what else do we need? We're gonna get some garlic, fresh basil, some uh, canned tomato. We're gonna do like a spaghetti sauce. Mushrooms. We're gonna get some uh, Italian sausage. Yeah, we're gonna do a pasta with sauce and maybe a uh, nice garlic bread with some bacon on it or something. Like that. Have you ever put olives, oh, oh, oh. thanks. Have you ever put olives or olive juice in spaghetti sauce? Olives, yes. Oh my gosh. That's the bomb right there. I think, uh, I think I've got Ginny's. Oh, this thing slides. Yeah. I, I need a way to stick that on there a little bit better. Maybe one of those uh, one of the rubber. Just a little quick clamp. thing you get for your dash that yes. the cell phone sits on. I, I, somebody did send me one. Sticky. And I do use it on my desk at, at home. A sticky. Anyway, let's go to the store. Swim! I'm talking about the New Orleans shirt. Yeah. How do you like this shirt? I was wearing a different one today. I like, it. One I... I like it a lot. Vince's time. Shopping! Well, 
Well, it's our cooking show. What tomato sauce is Paul Which like? one? I want to try something different. Oh, it's got vodka. Nice. I like vodka. Oh, look at those nice ones. Oh, I like that. Let's get some mushrooms. Definitely mushrooms. You throw pepper in it too? Sure. <laughs> Got our stuff. Got the stuff. That guy stole your olives. <laughs> <laughs> I snuck in a uh, jar of olives and slipped Paul some cash. Because they look good. Olives are expensive. Holy. Olives are good. Hey YouTubers, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another CNR just for you. How's it going, Paul? Good. We're doing What's some today? pasta today. So we're going to do hot Italian sausage rigatoni. It's good to go, eh? It's good to go. Nice. Oh my gosh. All finished up at Paul's house. Had an amazing meal. Hope you guys love this new cooking review. Uh, he's just coming out in a second. I have to shoot here because I don't want you guys to see any numbers on any houses. Hmm. So I gotta get home. I have to get the, the KFC video up as soon as possible. So I'll let you say goodbye to Paul. Hang on. Ciao, bro. Thanks for dinner. You're it was welcome. fantastic, like usual. Oh. <laughs> Just to give you guys a heads up, because I want to kind of tease you about next cook and review, but that was a number three. Out of all the things that we've done on cook and review, that was in the top three of my favorite things. That there we you have it. There you have it. So I'll look forward to it. Just picked up Ben and we are on our way back home. Uh, we were talking about Pokemon. What's it on Go? Pokemon Go, it's like the big thing that's happening to all the young kids. Uh, Pokemon was never my thing. It was def definitely their thing. Ah! It was definitely my thing. Was yeah, Ben had all the Pokemon games. He had several different, um, what were those things called? The square games that he flipped. And what do you mean? For? The game machine that you'd stick your game into. And oh, I had all the like hand The Game Boy game Advance Boy. or whatever. I had like the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, right. Game Boy Advance. And you collected the different colors. I had all of them up and then I also collected like all the Pokemon games. So now, like now they've come game. out with it on your phone, smartphone, so you can actually go around your town, city, wherever and collect Pokemon. Yeah. And depend and if you're travel like if if I was even closely liking Pokemon then you know with all these travel places I've been going to I could probably collect some pretty cool Pokemon yeah you'd have a, a good range of you have a better range for Pokemon so yeah so if you're interested in Pokemon there's a game Pokemon Go you yeah. can get it I believe in the states no problem but states japan australia new zealand so canada seems to always be last on the list of places to get it besides antarctica uh sometimes antarctica gets stuff just before us which sucks because there's only like penguins living down there we get screwed yeah, that happens anyway guys uh i'm gonna go home drink a couple beers watch some breaking bad and we will talk to you again tomorrow Deuces. Deuces.